Alright, welcome back to Haunting Ground. In the last video, we fell down into this, this new area. And in this video, we are going to kind of explore this area a little bit more freely now that Debilitas is seemingly off our back. I love all the rooms in this game, like, they're all so unique. I think they, they let themselves have a little bit more, like, weird rooms in this game than, like, a Resident Evil game. Uh, this is the item that sent us down here in the first place, so we might as well go pick that up. There's a noise in this that makes me keep thinking that it's my dog whining, and it's very strange. That like so every time I come through here, I think that 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 there's a noise or that my dog needs something, but uh, he doesn't. So we're gonna head off this way, which can be a little dangerous. Uh, Debilitas could be could be anywhere at this point. Uh, there is something that we need for a puzzle right over here. You can see that there's a flower growing in that set of gates there. We're gonna just send Huey in there to go grab that. I couldn't tell you why they specifically gated off this this flower, but I mean they did. Go Huey. No. If he doesn't listen to you for an extended period of time, that's when you want to really start to scold him. Again, I don't like scolding him, but it does... It helps, you know. Scold him when he's not doing what you want. Praise him when he does stuff that is good. So he will go grab that, that fresh flower for us. Which is very nice. Now we just want him to kind of come out of here. Good boy. You're such a good boy, Huey. Huey. So cute. This game's cute. So, there's an area over here Huey. which is fairly risky to go to, but I do want to show it off at least once. Again, kicking this could be bad. I'm taking a lot of risks right here, and hopefully they pay off. So, there's this run-down little shack over here that we're going to head inside of. The shack is the residence of Debilitas himself, and I want to say every time you come in here, there's a fairly good chance he just could be in here. So, very risky coming in here. There's some stuff you can examine, like his bed, which Fiona obviously wants nothing to do with, and I do not blame her. You can examine this doll here. It's pretty weird. It's missing a head, it looks like. It doesn't even look like a doll. And there's just some weird shrine here, so... Debilitas... has got some weird... Weird abode here. It does not abode well. Haha. <laughs> Very funny wordplay. So yeah, we're just gonna get out of there. I just figured it'd be fun to show that off. Because it is, you know, one of the characters in the game's houses. Huey, come on. Come on. Huey, what are you doing? Huey. Can you not do this, Huey? No. Where even is he? What are you doing? Come on. Huey. Yeah, Huey can be kind of problematic sometimes. The earlier on in the game that it is, you know, the the less he's kind of going to listen to you as the game goes on and if you know how to use Huey properly, you know, he'll he'll be more receptive to to listening to you. So, what we're going to go do now is a puzzle. I didn't show it. I'm basically only going to show me solving the puzzle. But there is a room in here that has a a vase that is attracting a ton of moths. Uh, first off, we're going to want to send Huey into that hole. And you can't get past a door that the moths are blocking. 
because I don't know. I mean, I hate moths too. I probably wouldn't go near the door. So what we need to do is put a set of fresh flowers in this vase here. And it's going to attract the moths over to this location instead of in front of the door. I absolutely do not blame Fiona one bit for not wanting to go through that door, because seriously, fuck bugs. I'm recording this in the summer, and man, if I cannot wait to not have to see a moth again. I hate those little things. Uh, so in this room, there's a hidden item in the sink here. You know, it's one of those things that you're probably going to investigate the sink anyway. You're probably going to find that. That's not that big a deal. So, as long as Huey didn't disobey you... Now, I've never had him leave this spot. There are other areas where you can send him somewhere and tell him to stay and he'll leave. I've never had go, him leave Huey. this spot. Uh, but go, we just want to tell him to go and he'll pick up this, no. uh, this go, item for Huey. us. Go, Huey. Theoretically, that's what Huey would do. If he'd listen to us. Also, this is one of the most safe areas in the entire game. The fact that you can push that box in front of the door means that the Bilitas cannot get in here. Of course, it means you're trapped. You know, there's not really anywhere to go, but just push the block in front of the door and the Bilitas will probably just lose interest and go away. Uh, I, I think there are a lot easier and quicker ways to lose him, I've, so I've never been forced into this room. But I I'm sure you can use it to your advantage. Now why, is she, why isn't she scared to go out that door with all the moths? I don't know. I guess because they're not blocking the door. So now we cannot forget to just bring Huey back. Uh, you can actually keep Huey in there and Good hope that boy. Debilitas is chasing you and get him to attack him through that hole and you'll get a, a hidden cutscene. Now, speaking of hidden cutscenes, if you come back this way, you're going to hear someone call your name. Just examine the wall. I think those cutscenes technically happen, like, in-game, because you can hear Huey walking around the entire time, and he was also barking, which I don't think is, like, 100% supposed to happen in that cutscene. So, we have a dude here uh, that's actually trying to help us out. He's going to keep passing us notes throughout, kind of, uh, a, a good part of the game. So, he's telling us basically what our objective right now is. we got lunar panels that shine on the wall in the back room and we basically just need to figure that out so we can get to the chapel so we do have a new objective now uh, so this Lorenzo guy seems to actually want to help us out um, I don't necessarily trust him because he's a creepy hand in a wall but also what other option do we have right so over here I didn't do this before but there is a lever that we can pull that will allow us to open up this gate, which kind of just gives us a shortcut. 
This is a Dark Souls shortcut here. And again, I, I would like to say that this is probably something that's going to alert Debilitas to your presence. Come on. Come on. There he is. Uh, we're going to just tell him to stay. Uh, but we are getting chased now, so maybe we should just kind of go. I'm going to assume opening up the, the gate probably caused the Bilitas to hear me. Thankfully, he goes up ladders just as slowly as you do. So, you do have a little bit of a buffer, like him having to go up the ladder, uh, you know, is, is still going to be pretty slow. So, run away while he's doing that. Let me grab this item. <laughs> Probably not a great idea. Probably should have just used this time to run. So this will bring us back to the opening area. Which means we have a very conveniently placed hiding spot, like right over here basically. We're just gonna go right back underneath the the, uh, the bed here. If Fiona doesn't want to keep running into doors. Now, like I said, if you were to hide under this bed too many times, Debilitas will eventually kind of wisen up and figure out, like, oh yeah, you're underneath that bed. I don't think it translates to the other stalkers. Like, I don't think if you use one thing too many times for Debilitas, it'll then translate to the next stalker also knowing that you use that a lot. So, you can hear it now, but there's a weird, like, slapping noise happening. We're gonna go into the study, which we now have the study key for. We, we found this area before, but now we can actually get in here. And this will give us a very important item. The Lunar Refractor, which, uh, we now know we need to do something with those. Thanks to Lorenzo, my dude. Uh, so let's investigate that slapping noise. There's too many luminescence in here. Nope, can't do that. Alright. Yeah, you can't really examine things when Debilitas is near. So we're going to just kind of hope that Debilitas doesn't follow us much longer. Yeah, I think I, I, I kind of just made a ballsy move here. I was like, I don't think he's following me, actually. I'm going to just go back. Because I really wanted to show off that cutscene. So we're going to see if, if this uh, paid off or not. Of course, there's still two Luminescence just dying to get me. So, let's just examine this door now that I don't think Debilitas has eyes on me. Where is he? Where is the old man? Where's he hiding? Touch her. Do you hear me, old man? The Azoth is mine. So 
that is going to instantly send us into a panic. Which is not great, but... Uh, it, I would say it actually kind of helps. I, I wonder if this is, could be a speedrunning technique. Just panic yourself so Fiona's constantly running. But yeah, we are going to just basically head back to where we were uh, before. Now that we have this lunar refractor, we can actually pop it into somewhere. Now in this weird music room, I guess, we can pop this lunar refractor right into this bad boy. I think I'm not facing the right way. Yep. Uh, yeah, if you leave Huey alone for too long, he'll just kind of start barking. Uh, which I do believe also can attract attention. So you really don't want that to happen. You also don't want that to happen. But I feel like that was unavoidable at that point. There was really nothing I could do there. Thankfully, she does have the wherewithal to be able to close doors when she's panicked. Which I think is kind of funny. I, I feel like that should be something that, that you're not able to do. Like, if you're this panicked... I don't think you should be able to open doors, I don't think you should be able to go down ladders, but she seems perfectly fine to do that. Now this is actually perfect, I'm so glad that he is here, because it means I get to show off yet another secret cutscene. Uh, so we are very, very close right now to Debilitas' shack, which I showed off earlier in this video. Uh, these are also defensive items. I don't really use these very much. Basically, you can set them down on the ground like landmines, and they will kind of explode and, you know, just kind of distract the villains. Uh, I don't really like using them. I would much rather try and outwit my uh, stalker. So if you go into his uh, shack and examine the doll, you get that cutscene. I believe that that should be, anyway, a, a one-use item. I can't see you being able to go in there every time and do the same thing. That would be kind of cheap, in, uh, in my professional opinion. So now we're basically just going to wrap up this video. Uh, we've done quite a bit so far. Come on. There's still a few more steps that we need before we can escape this part of the game. Uh, which I'm going to save for the next video. I, I don't know exactly how long you have until Debilitas comes back. But that does keep him off your tail for at least a good little bit. Maybe enough to just get you back to, uh, to this room here. So, uh, thank you for watching. In the next video, we're gonna get a whole hell of a lot done. Uh, so, look forward to that, and I will see you next time.